In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of elementary transformations. We already know how to do the row transformations and column transformations. This video is also based on the particular concept only. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question is find the inverse of a matrix A and that matrix is given to me and we need to find the inverse by elementary row transformations. It is already told that use row transformation, so you cannot use column ones. Let's write the heading as solution. And I know the matrix is named as A, so it will be A is equal to IA. Right? A is equal to IA, where I is the identity matrix. What is A? A is 10 minus 2 minus 5, 1. 10 minus 2 minus 5, 1. And what is i? i is 1, 0, 0, 1. And we write a as it is. Now, I need 1, 0, 0, 1. But here it is not 1, it is 10. So what do I need to do? I need to apply r1 in a manner that r1 divides by 10. So it becomes 1 because 10 by 10 is 1. Minus 2 by 10 is minus 1 by 5. Next, row 2 does not change, so it is minus 5 and 1. Next, we have the another matrix. It is 1 by 10, 0, 0, 1 and it is A. Next, since it is 1 which I needed, yes, this is set. Last element also 1 should be there, yes, it is set. What is the other thing that is causing problem? It is minus 5 and minus 1 by 5, both actually. So, what do I need to do? I need to apply something else in the row 2 so as to eliminate minus 5. So, if I apply row 2 in the manner that row 2 plus 5 row 1, row 2 plus 5 row 1, why? Because we need 0 there. What will happen? Let's see. So, the next operation I am writing here, it will be on the row 2, row 2 and it will be added with 5 R1. What happens? We have again two matrices and we have 1 minus 1 by 5 as it is because no change in the element of first row. So it is 1 minus 1 by 5, basically it is plus 1 and here also 1 by 10, 0 remain as it is, they don't change. What happens in the next case? The next case is of the row 2. It is minus 5 plus 5 which becomes 0. Why minus 5 plus 5? Because row 2 plus 5 are 1. What about here? 1 and we have plus 5 are 1. So 1 plus 5 into r1. This is what is happening. These both cancel. 1 minus 1 gives me 0. So it is 0. Next we have the things applied to the same case here in the second row. So it is 0 plus 5 r1. So 0 plus 5 by 10, 1 by 2. Next we have 1 here and plus 5 into row 1 does not change because anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So it is 1 only. Now what should be the inverse? The inverse should be corresponding to 1, 0, 0, 1. But here it is not 1, 0, 0, 1. In fact both these things have become 0. So whenever you solve these questions and in any case you get the row elements all as 0 or the column elements all as 0, you say that the inverse does not exist. There is no answer to this question. So the answer would be written as inverse does not exist. Why are we writing this? Because I know that the row 2 has become 0 and so finding inverse to this question is not possible.